Hi, welcome to the Commercial Gas Engineer channel. This is a Kane 958 Commercial Gas Analyzer. I want to show you a bit about it because I've not seen any videos on it so far. So I hear that there's a big hoo-ha about Anton Sprints. I uh, did a poll recently and a lot of engineers really liked the Anton Sprint. It won the poll, but I really like Kane. It's got its thoughts, but I want to talk to you about this analyzer. So uh, first of all, let's do a test on it. I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna talk to you a bit about what came in a package. So here is the analyzer lead and it comes with this sort of cap on it to do a test at first, a leak test. So let's check to make sure. Got to go to Util. It's the first time this one's getting used, so going to do a leak test. Uh, so that's going to have to pass the test. Yep, it passed. Lovely. Back, and then I'm going to pull this off. Okay, so that's back in the bag, and I'm ready to use it. So before I talk a bit more about it, what came with it? So the lead and everything like that. I think this one costs about a thousand pounds, depending on how many units you buy. So here is the lead. It came with a few different ones for different countries. And it's like a typical phone charger. I can't remember the type of this. You can put in the comments what type this is in the comments, but one of the typical like, Android chargers. Um, here it is up here. Only thing I'd say about that is that the light didn't come on. If you look up here, the, the red light stayed on when I was charging it for several hours. So I don't get what that was all about. I was expecting it to say, yeah, it's charged, but it just kept going. So I got, this printer here and it came with like batteries and it also takes the same sort of point good magnet to keep it on here good magnet for this to be on here also it hasn't fallen that's a big deal if it falls on the ground it's probably going to take quite a knock but the case is strong I like the analog control it's a shame that the screen can't show you more so when I do this now the pump starts running on the unit this is a bit loose going in and could fall out quite easily. I may have to like put some thread on it or something like that so it doesn't just drop out whilst I'm analyzing. And then this here, I've, there's two ports here. Don't know if you can see it, can you see it? The two ports here can check for pressure. I could check working pressure and burner pressure on that as well. I've got another lead in here for a sensor. This didn't come with it, but I had it from times past. Uh, I'm going to be checking the temperature of the pipe. So you can see here I've got 26 here. Let's see the other temperature sensor. So they've got ambient temperature. Okay, can you see? 28. And then there's another temperature sensor there. And then ambient temperature, O2 and so on. Where's my other sensor? So here we go, here's my two sensors. You can see the temperature of my pipe work is 72. So that's that sensor over there. And then the temperature of my analyzer is 26. And then my ambient temperature, TA, temperature ambient 23.9. So I'm gonna pop this in this boiler, which is currently on, and see how easy it is to use this analyzer, printing it off, logging it, etc., etc. Okay, okay, in this scenario, I'm testing here on the boiler, but you know on these boilers there is another test point inside, but I'm not gonna get the case off at this particular moment. This is just for the video, okay? So we're checking the temperature of the flue here. There's the flue temperature rising. And then I have to switch on here to get my different readings. So my CO2 and so on. My pump is running. So I'm waiting for my CO2 readings to come on. Okay, my boilers have gone off at the moment. I'll wait for them to come back on. I'm not gonna force them. But you can see on here, it, hasn't, it isn't showing the CO2 reading, but it's showing the flue temperature. It will show it in a moment. Okay, and then my printer is here. I can turn my printer on and off and it goes off instantly. I don't know how quick it prints. Let's see, because some printers quick very quickly. Oh, that came out quite quick, so that's good. So we are going to, and then you can increase the 
the um, ink strength here by hitting this and so on so that looks good um, so I can check my pressure as well here so let's have a look at my pressure PRS where's my PRS there we go pressure 27 millibar so that's checking over there can you see it on my gas pipe so 27 millibar you can also check the pressure inside the boiler a bit closer to the gas valve but this also is for the video so that's an easy place for me to test it without taking off the case so there we have it it's doing what it needs to so this is what i tend to use for checking pressure it's quick easy normally but when it's on the analyzer that's good i can also carry out a tightness test if i want to so i'm going to take out my see this is the probe quite good for can tighten this up and so on nice sturdy probe kind of flexible and long so tell me what you think in the comments about this analyzer i think it's quite good um, it prints quite quick let's print again so let's have a look that's quite quick lovely not too bad some analyzers printers are quicker takes the batteries in the back the rechargeables four double a this is the lead the lead sometimes these can be longer because you're in a plant room and you need the lead to go from here to another part you can take a power bank as well um what else mm, this is what comes in the pack a few bits and pieces they could have thrown in some um, printer paper. What else could they have thrown in? They could have thrown in a few more of these. Um, it's, these are cheap and cheerful. I don't think they cost a lot. Um, they've got the lead, which is nice and long. And it's quite a simple analyzer. Tell me what you think in the comments. All right, thank you for joining me. Until next time, bye-bye-bye.